I will pop over my calendar here and tell you exactly how long I have left. Um, I have four days, one, two, three, four days until it has to be at the Sundance office in LA. For independent filmmakers like Jesse Keller, Sundance is the holy grail. It's the gold standard of film festivals, and getting into that would be such a great jump up to the next level for a little film like ours. The film is the Thane of East County. It's about a modern day theater company in San Diego doing a production of Macbeth when the actors' lives start to mirror those of the characters. I basically thought, like, who better to rip off than Shakespeare? <laughs> like, you, you really can't go wrong. Hail, Thane of Fife. Thane of Glams, maybe? Hail, Thane of Fife. Yeah, you know that's not the line, right? All hail, Macbeth, hail to thee, Thane of Glams. Glams. Cador. King. <laughs> um, I'm playing... Macbeth. Keller's been editing 8 to 12 hours a day since shooting wrapped on August 22nd in order to meet the Sundance deadline. His first cut is done, and he's laying in music he composed. Putting in music is such a sense of relief <laughs> because, like, you like, set everything up, and with no music, everything feels so much slower in a movie. So once you get that first assembly on the timeline and you watch it, you're like, oh, gosh, is this going to be too slow? Is this not going to work? But then you put in the music, like, oh, that's right, yeah, it is totally going to work. This is great. <laughs> hail, hail. So there is an online upload, or I have to FedEx a DVD. Sundance explicitly forbids filmmakers from showing up at their office. Keller's plan is to submit the film online on the morning it's due. There's one website, Without a Box, is the film submission website. So Sundance gets. I think they said 10,000 submissions a year. Um, and I'm guessing a hell of a lot of those happen at the last minute. So if, you know, several thousand people are all trying to upload a feature film on the same day, uh, I hope they got the bandwidth for, for that thing. Otherwise, otherwise, there's going to be some people who are freaking the hell out. <laughs> last Monday at 7 AM, Keller was one of those people freaking out. Woke up this morning. It has failed. The upload has failed. So I start it again. It starts to upload my one gigabyte file, and it gets to about 35 megs and fails again. I go online and look at the uh, help file on the uh, Without a Box's help site, and it turns out that for the last four days, people have been having this exact same problem. And there's a lot of very pissed off people that are discovering that their submissions for their films that they've worked on so hard for Sundance, that their submissions are just not going through at all. So I am burning a DVD right now, and I am going to hop in my car and drive up to LA and walk into the Sundance office with it. That's my plan. As an independent filmmaker, Keller is all too familiar with having to resort to a plan B and to be creative with problem solving. It also helps to have a crew truly invested in the project. My, my mom gets an executive producer credit on this thing because she was, and she was helping, you know, when we needed an RV, she got us an RV and got it delivered to the location the day we needed it. Now he just needs to find a way to get the Thane of East County into the Sundance offices. It is done. It is done. And I didn't even have to drive to LA to do it. I managed to get in touch with someone from the Sundance Institute and they told me that I could submit it a day late because I am one of a whole ton of people that are having that exact same issue with the online submission process. So FedExed it. I just dropped it right off at a FedEx location just now, and I'm on my way home. It is all in the hands of Sundance now. And all Keller can do now is wait to find out if his film will make the cut for the Sundance Festival coming up this January. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.